But the atmosphere has been tinged with sadness at the news today of the death of Ted Lowe, one of the most iconic broadcasters associated with the sport. Whispering Ted, as he was known, passed away this morning at the age of 90. But his hushed tones will forever be associated with some of the most dramatic moments in the sport, most notably the 1985 final. We'll be paying tribute to Ted in a few moments' time. Well, I'm inside the commentary box with the first two men who will describe the action on today's final. Dennis Taylor, the 1985 champion and seven-time Crucible champion Stephen Hendry. Stephen, first of all, Judd Trump, the youngest Crucible finalist since yourself back in 1990. Can you give us an idea of what he's going through at the moment? Moment. Um, I bet he's in there and he cannot wait to get out there and get started and um, that's how I feel um, it's just so thrilling you know your, your all your, your life's ambitions to, to play in the crucible and then mm. being the world championship final I bet he just can't wait well guys just thanks for the moment we heard from uh, Hazel earlier that uh, Ted Lowe sadly passed away at the age of 90 well I think it's fair to say that it's inside the crucible commentary box that the great man made his name called him the Wonder Bairn of Scotland. Just the last red now. And there is a rather sad picture. Stephen Hendry, world's number one star. And what a miraculous performance by a 23-year-old boy from Scotland with victory at 18 frames to 14 after 10 consecutive victories in frames. No. A fabulous picture of a very happy and popular man. Dennis Taylor, that famous night in 1985, Ted Lowe, very much part of it. Absolutely, and I'll always remember Ted's words throughout that. Uh, he used to call me the 36-year-old smiling Irishman. <laughs> I will always remember Ted for that. And I was very fortunate to have been asked to commentate over 30 years ago. Someone had taken ill at the UK Championship and they asked me would I go into the commentary box and I was in sitting next to the great man Ted Lowe and he seen me through that session, told me when to speak and he helped to, to launch my uh, commentary career. And Stephen, your memories of Ted Lowe? The first time I actually met Ted, I was playing junior pop black. I was only 14, and he was a, a complete gentleman. Um, me and my father were down there, and he was just so nice to us, made us feel so welcome. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, before play gets underway this afternoon, we will have a minute's applause in memory of the legendary snooker commentator Ted Lowe, who sadly passed away this morning. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A fitting tribute to a brilliant broadcaster, and we move on exactly as he would have wished.